Okay, now we're going to look at uh, being able to do standard operations in polar form. Um, so we have these two complex numbers, Z1 and Z2, they're in polar form. Now if we want to times them together, then we get this result where the modulus gets multiplied together and the arguments get added together. If you want to see a proof of that, there's one in your textbook. It's, it's not too difficult to follow, but you don't need to reproduce it, so I'm not putting it into the videos. Um, you can also do a similar thing with division, where if you're doing one complex number divided by another, you will divide the modulus and subtract the arguments. So for example, if you've got uh, this sort of problem, then you are going to do 2 times 3 makes 6, and add the arguments, so it's pi by 4 plus pi by 6, which is pi by 24, and if you need to write it out in full instead of using the cis notation, it would look like that. Um, another example, if we've got a division here, then 10 divided by 2 is 5, and pi minus pi by 3 is 2 pi by 3. We also um, have, this leads to a lovely little theorem called de Marwa's theorem. Um, now, he came up with this, where if you extend what we just looked at, and you look at powers of a complex number, so, you know, just timesing it by itself however many times you need, then it uh, quite logically leads to the fact that if you're doing z to the power of n, you'll do the modulus to the power of n and theta times n. So if you have 3 plus i to the 6th, for example, well, first of all, the thing to note here, that is not in polar form. So we have to change it into polar form first before we can apply de Marwa's theorem. So 3 plus i is here. We need to find the modulus and the argument. So the modulus is root 10, and the argument is 0 0.322 radians. So if we put that into um, polar form, and then we're going to do it to the power of 6. Now apply de Marwa's theorem, and we'll do the modulus to the power of 6, and theta times 6, and we get this. Now since our question was given to us in Cartesian form, we need to change it back into Cartesian form. So here's what it looks like. There's an argument of 1.931, and a modulus of 1,000. That gives our our angle on the other side so that we can use trigonometry, so just subtract it from pi, is 1.211. This is all in radians. So x will be um, 1000 cos times 1.211, and y will be 1000 sine times 1.211. Just basic trig there. And then put that back into x plus i y form. Now x is on the negative side of the axis, so we need to um, make sure that 352 is a negative. And y is on the positive imaginary axis, so that is a plus 936 i.